they took 500,000 or so bones from Fairbanks to New York City, left them in the crates, and there's a picture on there someplace when I went there to visit, in crates that have yet to be opened. But in the 40s, they took about a whole boxcar load of these bones. They ran out of storage, and they dumped them in the East River. The only place I'm going to divulge that location. So all that stuff in those pictures is all from your property? Yes, sir. What a crazy piece of land you stumbled upon. It's unbelievable. And so they dumped how much in the East River? I'm told by Dick Osborne, a boxcar load, 50,000 or 50 tons. Just threw it in the water? Yes, sir. Is it still there? I don't know. That's could, it, what... could it be still there? Could be. Some of it, maybe? Certainly the tusks. Do you know where it was? Yes, sir. Let so you're going to hire some divers? What are you going to do? I've told... No. You have a lot of people that follow you on your Instagram. I got, I got a lot of people that follow me, thanks to you. And uh, I said, you know, those bones, as far as I'm concerned, that they dumped in the East River, they're, they're no longer mine. They're finders keepers. So if any of you guys want to go out and find some bones, I'll tell you exactly where the fuck they're at. But I'll only tell Joe Rogan. So I have to tell people? Tell them right now. Okay, tell them right now. Yes, sir. Where's it? <laughs> Do you know what street they pulled up to where they dumped them off? Yes, sir. Really? Yeah. Would you like to announce it to yeah, everybody? Yeah, go ahead. You do it. You want me to? Yeah, please. Okay. Only makes sense. Imagine, imagine if you see a bunch of divers pulling woolly mammoth tusks out of the East River. The uh, title of this draft report is Early Man in Eastern Beringia, Late Pleistocene and Early Holocene, Artifacts and Associated Fauna Recovered from Fairbanks Mining District, Alaska. Authored by Richard Osborne, the Quaternary Center, University of Alaska Museum, Professor Emeritus, University of Wisconsin-Madison. Robert Evander, Vertebrate Paleontology, American Museum of Natural History, and a fellow named Robert Sattler, Tana Chiefs, Fairbanks, Alaska. They wrote the introduction and the report, this associated <coughs> draft, never released, goes through the history of the bone collecting in Alaska, in, at least off my ground. And so the part that I want to reveal to people, because I said I would, we'll see if anybody's out there got a sense of adventure. Because if I was, a, and I'm not going to tell people you're allowed to do this, but if I was listening to your podcast and I happen to have a boat and I happen to have a scuba, little scuba equipment, because I'm going to tell them, everybody right now, where the fuck they're at. Where the fuck are they? Okay. <laughs> okay. You looking for the address? No. I'm just going to take the part off where I had, I had this posted on my Instagram. With the, it was redacted where the location was. Because I want to make sure everybody in the world has a chance to hear it at the same time. Okay. Because this is going to be a bone rush. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. All right, here we go. Mistakes made in the field as to acceptable condition of the, large, of the bone shipped to New York City were dumped in the East River. Okay. Mm -hmm. The dump site at that time was off. Here we go. I know it's redacted. Here, I'm going to read what's redacted. Okay. The dump site was off. The East River Drive at about 65th Street. The common New York City hospital dump site as well for difficult to dispose of materials. Potentially a challenging archaeological dig for archaeologists in the distant future. Now... I'm going to say this about that. These bones that we find, they're paleontological in nature. Archaeology is a stu study of human stuff. What happened there? Did they mix a bunch of the bones in with a bunch of the stuff from the hospital? Is there stuff in the hospital 
or is there even more stuff from the uh, from AM and H that was dumped there that they didn't have room to store? Like human stuff. Could be human stuff. I just can't imagine that they just didn't have any room for it, so they dumped valuable bones. They were of no value to these guys. That is so crazy. But you got to remember, this was in 1928 to 1958. Yeah. People, you know, miners didn't collect the bones. That's what makes me such an oddball. I have friends going, when I first started this 15 years ago, going, what the fuck are you doing? There's a lot of gold under those. Mm. Go get the gold. Right. Yeah, the bones, man. We're going to get the bones. Then we'll get the gold. Don't worry about it. So 15 years later, I'm saying, we'll get the goddamn gold. Don't worry about it. I take a, I take a pretty long view of history, and I appreciate your view of history. And I'll tell you something else about history. History's just not about what happened in the past. History's about what's about to fucking happen. What we just talked about is about to happen. Now people are going to go and they're going to go, he just told us where the f- where it is. You can pull it up on Google Earth and find that site. And how far into the water was it? I don't know. Did they dump it off of boats? Did they dump it right off the shore? I don't know. How wide is the East River? The dump site at the time was off the East River Drive at about 65th Street. So that ain't that wide. Is that right? Is that what I'm looking at? Is this 65th Street? This East River I think Drive? so. It's it like says a, right there, 53rd Street Tunnel. So that's the neighborhood. 65th Street. So there's 65th Street. And so somewhere right off of that. I'd say right, right alongside. Because right here is the train bridge. Do you know how crazy it would be if there's fucking mammoth bones right there in the East River? Tusks. Right there in the East River. Dude. Let me tell you something about mammoth bones, mammoth tusks. They're extremely valuable. And a complete set of tusks like the day, did you see that little video snippet I said about the day we found a full-grown woolly mammoth? I mean, all of it? Yeah. Yeah, I did see that. Okay. Well, and thousands, thousands of bones within a week and another mammoth the next day. Tusks don't float. They don't roll along the bottom. They sit where they're at. They're curved. They weigh a lot. They're very dense. Same with the leg bones. They're dense, too. I don't know what kind of current that river has, if it even has a current. All I know is this is where they say they dump them. 